Hello, this video is going to show you how to do call transfers using ePhone Go 2 on Android. So the first thing you want to do for a transfer is to obviously be on a two-way call. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to call from a desktop phone to the ePhone Go that you're looking at in the screen. All right, we're going to answer. I'm going to put these in mute just to get rid of any feedback. So here we are on our two-way call um, that came in, and I have two options. I can do transfer, which is unattended or unsupervised transfer. That means when I do the transfer, I'm sending the call off. I'm disconnected. That's it. Easy peasy. Then you have tended transfer or supervised transfer. Um, where you're going to do the transfer before you, but before you let the call go, you're going to introduce the caller to who you're transferring it to. So we're going to do an example of both of these so you can see how it works. So again, we're on our two-way call. I'm going to click transfer. Now, if you hear, the one call went on music on hold. So I'm just going to place that handset down so we don't have to keep listening to that. So you can see, yes, it's on hold, but you heard them go on music on hold. Now, there's two ways you can do this transfer. You can just flat out punch in the numbers here on the dial pad if that's what you want to do. It can be an extension. It can be to an outside number. It doesn't matter. Or you can actually go over here to your um, contact list and let's go to our company directory. It could be company directory or your address book, but um, nine times out of 10, you use your company directory and say you want to transfer this call um, off to Bill Struther as an example. So let's do that. So we press the handset icon and the call is going out and it told you the call has ended. And if you could hear the other phone, it's now calling or um, connecting to Bill Struther, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hang up that call. But notice how very fast it was. Makes a connection drops you from the call because that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so now we're going to do attended transfer. Now I'm gonna leave the music on hold playing through the speaker because I want you to hear what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to the other person. So my other phone is ringing. It's going to answer. Now we're connected. The two of us are connected. And you'll see as soon as I hang up or do transfer down here, sorry, click transfer, it's now transfer that off. So what happened there is I had the opportunity while I was talking to the person I called to say, hey, when I hang up, um, Sally is going to be connected to you and she's calling to find out information about that invoice or that shipment uh, shipment to her or whatever the uh, concern may be. Um, so that's how you do an attended transfer. Let's do that one more time. Just make sure it's super clear. Let's click answer. Okay, um, so let's do um, transfer here. Um, and I want to um, use the same phone number. Again, I could go here and choose any of my extensions, um, but I want to hear the call actually being answered. And for me to do that, I need to actually use this phone. All right, my other phone rings. We're now connected. I say, hey, it's Sally. When I hang up, she's going to be transferred to you. She has information um, she's going to give you on that order. So I press transfer. Now those two people are connected together. Notice, too, that you did have another option at the bottom where it said cancel um, during the supervised call. You do have that option, too, when you're on um, the regular transfer. In fact, let's just get that set up really fast because this could come in handy for you. Okay, so when I click transfer here, um, I really haven't done anything yet. I just really put my call on hold. 
this is the point where I want to, if I want to change my mind, I can just go back here, cancel transfer, and now I'm reconnected to my call again. And then because maybe I click transfer, but I really wanted to do an attended transfer. And again, it's like, oh, no, um, I can't remember the number I need to transfer to. So take that and now you're connected again. So let's do this attended transfer one more time. And then but to, uh, punch in the number. Now notice that at this point, let me answer. So it doesn't go away. I could do the transfer or I could cancel. Maybe um, I, I say, hey, Bob, I'm gonna transfer Sally to you. And Bob's like, no, 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 no. I know what it's about. She really needs to go over to Paul. Um, will you start your transfer over and transfer them there? You know, something to that effect. And when that happens, you can do cancel and then you can get back. You would um, end the call that you're on, which is 064, and it takes you back to your original caller and then you can just start your transfer over again. So there is a way to get out of it. The point of no return is when you are, the transfer is physically happening, like you press the transfer button or on unsupervised transfer, as soon as you hit dial on the number you're transferring it to, you can't get it back. Um, so anyway, but you do have a couple options to get out of that. All right, um, that is how you do transfers. Um, be sure to check out our other YouTube videos. Thanks a lot.